The need has never been greater. Neighborhoods build pride. The nation preserves its rich heritage. Kids build critical life skills. It's fun for everyone. I've played the game uh, and I've studied the game from, from almost every angle, as you can see, uh, with all the history represented around me. Uh, I grew up in a time when baseball ruled American sports, when uh, their stars were all on the covers of the magazines and, and in newspapers and so forth. And so as a kid, you played baseball and we were fortunate to have some great sand lots around town and that's where I got started. I didn't have a, a good idea when Bob first approached me about the project while I was mayor, but um, he and I both understood right off the bat that we both love baseball. We love the game. We love the fact that it's an American game and what it did for us as youngsters and, and how much we enjoyed it at our middle age and, and what it'll do for our community. Um, as things unfolded at the first ballpark out by um, uh, in the, on the north side of Waterloo, well beyond imagination for what we would have expected and he's only improved upon that as each ballpark has been renovated. Our mission is to improve the lives of underprivileged kids primarily in low-income neighborhoods by providing the opportunity to play baseball and softball which through teamwork strengthens character, builds pride and teaches skills for life. We do this by helping ensure they have a quality place to play by providing assistance and rallying support needed to build new ballparks and or improve existing ballparks. We're really lucky to have a private businessman step up and want to do, you know, want to take the lead and make some improvements to our facilities and help us further our mission of helping young kids. And, you know, he's done a lot by just giving young kids a great place to play and recreate. So we're really thankful to him. We have, the, of course, the inaugural field, the, uh, the jewel in the crown, uh, Hellman Field. And we have three that we've done at uh, Tibbetts, which was the next project. Three we've done at Danes, and the eight fields that we're currently working on and almost finished at Riverfront. So a total of 15. The first project they did was at Hellman Field, which is over by Cunningham School. And they turned basically an old wasteland into probably one of the nicer fields in the Midwest. And that's a unique one that it's located right next to a school. On the other side, it's bordered by a church. So it really transformed that neighborhood. And then each step that Build Our Ballpark has taken has helped transform all those neighborhoods. With kind of the focal point now being here, where it's basically transformed an entire park. I've coached for Leisure Services for almost eight years. Uh, my son plays in Leisure Services. The ballparks have transformed from when we started to now has been incredible. They're, they're beautiful ballparks. We have great facilities. Our fans, our players have a great place to come watch baseball. It really is a benefit to the community. I think it's more fun here since you have fences, real bases, everything. The ground is much smoother at ballparks and it's like a major league baseball player playing at a ballpark. We have a, a grandson in Rochester who plays ball in an organization up there in a league and he comes down here and it oohs and ahs about the Waterloo Parks. It's great uh, to get outside and it's, I think it's really fun and I get to goof around and uh, the skills are hard to know but I think it's really fun to play baseball. It's fun to work with my teammates and everybody. It's a good time. I have 13 young men that come into play. They come in every week, they're families. They get to enjoy the field, the weather, the stadium, the concessions at some of the other facilities. Um, it impacts them. Uh, my son's made countless friends through the program and through baseball in the community. My dad always has coached me and it's always nice to have him there. In coach pitch, uh, t-ball, um, I hit a ground rule double and that was really big for me. You know, it, it struck me that these wonderful fields will host thousands and thousands of young boys and girls over the next few decades. And you know, some of them are, they're all going to get along in life, we hope. Uh, some of them will have a little rougher time than others, they'll get caught between the bases, so to speak. Um, but they'll have home to come to. And they'll have a dugout for recluse, uh, temporarily. But it, when it's all said and done, uh, I think that as they get to adult age, 
they're going to understand that there was a point in time that somebody else did something for them. Somebody cared about them and somebody did something about that care. And, and it will be their responsibility then to, to pursue that, to take that on and, do, and, and continue the tradition. Uh, just that whole idea of that we, we, can, we can have great singular um, accomplishment, but we can't do anything without the team. It's just the general comments, people you run into in stores and, and on the streets and at events who just will come up and offer a comment that what a great job these, you're doing on these fields. That just makes it all worthwhile. It's almost palpable, uh, the fun th that you can sense uh, coming from those great crowds and from the kids on the field. And that's, that's really what I think Bob had in mind. Let's have some fun.